Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to draw Batman in three different art styles. So jumping straight into it, the first one we got is Batman from the animated series. Now you guys just saw the creator Bruce Tim. Um, a lot of 90s kids grew up with this show and learned to and have loved it ever since, uh, me included. So I thought it would be really cool if I can teach you guys my process on how I draw uh, this version of Batman. And as always, we first start off with basic shapes and then we start outlining uh, the basic uh, head shape and everything else that is in the photo. I used a reference from uh, Bruce Tim. He did like a sketch. Um, so I used that reference and I'll leave it uh, down below if you guys want to go check it out and try this uh, reference yourself. Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It was a bit of a challenge trying to get it just right, especially the chin. Um, for me, at least, it's very. It was very uh, challenging to get it right. Um, Bruce Tim was a, was a master at, at his own uh, craft, and, and 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 you just can't mess around with the iconic uh, face shape of this uh, Batman. It was something that, again, so many people love, me included. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I got it right. So if you guys don't get it right the first time, it's okay to go back and erase and start over. Or, or just fix little things now I'm doing this on an iPad Pro so it is digital but you guys can do this on a piece of paper just using a pencil um, of course try to be more uh, cleaner with the edges I'm kind of just doing a very rough outline of what I want to do and then I go in uh, with the ink later on and uh, really define those shapes that I created uh, earlier now his style is so simple but yet so unique and elegant um, they can be challenging again to mimic it um, I've always drawn Batman more of a I guess comic book style uh, more Jim Lee type of uh, style I guess um, which you guys will see in a second um, but again going back to this one it can be part of a challenge just because it's just because it's so simple that it makes it harder uh, to mimic it um, and that's why I said that Bruce Tim was a master at his craft um, and it's certainly a style that has, you know, stood against the test of time. So next up, we got Jim Lee's art style. Now, I'm sure most of you are familiar with this type of uh, style Batman. Uh, if you read the comics or into comics, I'm sure you guys know of Jim Lee. Very popular. There he is. Very popular uh, comic book artist. Um, in the 90s and even relevant today and he is also currently the publisher and chief creative officer of DC Comics. Jim Lee is basically the reason why I got into comics if I'm honest. Um, I loved his art style, um, well I still do but you know when I was a kid I fell in love with his art style in fact that's what made me want to become a comic book artist. Um, but again as time goes on you, you tend to learn new things and you tend to go off on your own path and um, I'm certainly I certainly will always love comics um, and always uh, try to, uh, I guess, not mimic it, but, you know, draw in that style as I'm doing now. Um, and Jim Lee, to be honest with you, his his technique, his, his master of the anatomy um, is truly amazing to watch. I don't know if you guys have ever watched his videos. Um, he has a, a Twitch account and um, he goes there live um, sometimes and, and draws and, and draws live and I think it's really cool to watch um, I love sometimes I've even drawn along with them um, and that's actually the point of this video the, this video is for you guys if you guys want to draw along with me um, if you need to pause the video at any time I mean obviously you can and sometimes I get questions on why I tend to quote unquote copy or, or, or mimic these art styles and the truth is is because I'm still trying to find my true art style. I do have one. Um, as you guys, if you guys go into my Instagram, it's at Bar Marlin. You guys will see that I tend to have a very uh, consistent art style through all my uh, work, and I love exploring different artists, different artists' work, and just how they do things and how they go about shading and creating these shapes and making them look 3D, making them look real, and just just different techniques to use. Um, what are you guys seeing here on the screen is called hatching. 
um, and then you'll see a little bit of cross hatching. Now this is what comic book, a lot of comic book artists use to create that uh, cell shading, um, which is really cool. I learned this way back when, when, when I started. Um, and again, I learned this through watching videos and, and just looking at comic book pages. Um, sometimes, I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't even look at the, the words. I just uh, love looking at the artwork that these artists uh, put in each and every page. The only unfortunate thing about this method um, is that it takes a long time. Um, as you guys will see, there is a lot of uh, cross hatching and hatching that goes on. Um, in order for you to get you know get it right uh, or make it look like you want it to look and right now I'm showing you guys an example of hatching um, and showing you the arrow is where the light is coming from so you guys kind of get an idea um, on how I determine the lighting uh, situation but again guys I will probably speed this up because again it takes a long time um, but you know if you guys need you know more time just take your time uh work on it make it look good make it look uh you know how you want it to look um and i'll be and like i said i used a reference so i didn't really have to do a lot of thinking when it came to the lighting situation um but i just wanted to show you the overall aesthetic that jim lee uh, uses his technique and, and and how he gets uh or does his masterpieces now Jim Lee tends to also use a lot of darks, a lot of blacks, um, very big uh, dark areas um, and it's something that I lack of as an artist. Um, I tend to always go the safe route and use cell shading um, or hatching is the technique I prefer. So I definitely want to start incorporating more blacks, more, more dark areas in my work. Um, I just think it gives it that really cool aesthetic, um, that darker theme uh, drawing. Um, and really adds depth um, to the drawing and a lot of contrast which is also visually pleasing to the eye but again guys I will speed this up you guys I think you guys get the idea um, just a lot of again cross hatching, hatching cell shading um, until you get the desired uh, look um, because the next artist I am very uh, excited about is Frank Miller um, I loved his Batman and I also loved I know a lot of people uh, Hated, not hated but didn't like uh, Ben Affleck's uh, version of Batman but I personally did just because it was my favorite uh, iteration I think it was very true to the comics um, and the I like the approach that they use um, which was Frank Miller's Batman very bulky uh, brawler like Batman which I always wanted to see on screen <sighs>
right, guys. So for our next one, like I said, we have Frank Miller's Batman. Now, he is also one of my favorite uh, iterations of the character. I think Frank Miller did a phenomenal job with the design and, and the story um, behind this, uh, this version of Batman. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, this art style wasn't as challenging for me. Um, it's maybe because I've done this a lot of times, um, this type of art style. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of mine because um, he uses the technique of hatching, which I tend to do a lot um, in my personal art style. But again, it's just a matter of getting the dark areas right, getting it you know, to look the way uh, that you want it to look. And again, I'll leave the references um, down below in the link. Um, if you guys want to check them out and try them for yourself. And kind of going off topic, I wanted to remind you guys that I am doing commissions. If you guys are interested um, in receiving a customized drawing um, of whatever it is that you want. Maybe you want yourself in this particular art style, Frank Miller's art style. Um, or if you want, you know, a picture of Batman and his art style. Um, the link is down below if you guys are interested. I mean, for the most part, I've done a lot of uh, couple drawings. Um, a lot of people request... Um, for me to draw them in a uh, Disney art style um, with their significant other. Um, so again, guys, whatever art style, whatever universe you guys have in mind, I can do it for you. Um, what I do uh, when it comes to that, um, say I don't really watch um, anime, for example. I do my research. I search up how to draw in the anime style, um, what, you know, what techniques they use, um, so I do a lot of research beforehand and that way you guys get exactly what you want um, because again you guys are paying for it so I want to make sure that you guys get you know value for money and if you guys are also interested in merchandise um, or anything like that again the link is down below um, I also have a Facebook page so go give it a follow go give it a like um, and share this video with your friends it would really help the channel grow um, if you guys do enjoy the video please give it a like um, and also subscribe if you're new or you haven't uh, done so yet. Like I said, this would really help the channel grow and reach more people. And I know this video is kind of long, kind of uh, extensive, but um, I really wanted you guys to see kind of the process I go, go through in quote unquote real time. And as you guys can see right now on the screen, I decided to add some color. Um, but again, if you guys want to leave it black and white, it is your drawing, so um, leave it as is. Um, I really enjoyed uh, doing these different art styles. Uh, if you guys would like to see more of these type of videos, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and i see you guys in the next one.